Mr. Speaker, I rise today to ask my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, how much is the trust of the American people worth? When the American people are dissatisfied with their government, the primary tool that the Constitution gives them to make a change is their vote. And on November 8, 2016, Americans from every part of this nation packed the polls to elect Donald J. Trump to be the President of the United States. The country wanted a disruptor, a fighter, a dealmaker, a president that would put America first. But sadly, on that very same day, Democrats had no plan or interest in honoring the vote of the American people. They were going to attempt from day one to delegitimize this pres president and ultimately remove him from office. Right after the president was sworn in, the Washington Post wrote, the campaign to impeach President Trump has begun. Even before he took office, a Politico article headline read, could Trump be impeached shortly after he takes office? So, House Democrats have been planning for this day since January 2017. It's clear that facts have never mattered to the House Democrats. They never planned to work with the president. Instead, they intended only to fulfill their divisive partisan agenda. Again, I ask, how much is the trust of the American people worth? Because after the vote today, for what you think is a short-term partisan gain, you can be sure that the American people will have lost their trust in our Gentlemen's institution. They will have lost their trust in Congress. And most importantly, Gentlemen they will have lost trust that their vote counts. Gentlemen.